Okay, hello. So um, in this video, we're going to be looking at further trig identities. Now, hopefully you're already confident um, and unhappy with the fact that tan x equals sine x over cos x and sine squared x plus cos squared x equals 1, um, which is a very, very important trig identity. You really, really need to know it. Okay, so starting with um, this new one, we get cot x equals cos x over sine x. And if you um, remember when you do the reciprocal trig functions, you look at the third letter and that gives you a clue as to where it comes from. So cot x is from 1 over tan x. So if we flip this to be 1 over tan x, we flip that and we get cos x over sine x. Um, and then we're going to do 1 plus tan squared x equals sec squared x, and sec squared third letter is c, so that's 1 over cos squared x, and then we get 1 plus cot squared x equals 1 over cosec squared x, and that comes from 1 over sine squared x. Okay, we just need now to just show you how to prove uh, these two. Okay, so we start with the cos squared x plus sine squared x equals 1. And um, that shouldn't be there. Uh, we di divide throughout by cos squared x. See, we've done that here. And um, remember, you must do each term. And then we cancel there. So cos squared over cos squared is going to be 1. Sine squared x over cos squared x gives you tan squared x. And 1 over cos squared x gives you sec squared x. And making sure you get the right one by checking the third letter is, uh, is what you want. So that's C, so that's cos. So that's good. Okay, and then we've got get what we want. The second one, the cot squared x plus 1 equals cosec squared x. Again, we start with the same thing, cos squared x plus sine squared x equals 1. Nice, I've got that funny plus in there. Uh, we divide by sine squared x, make, making sure we do each term, each term by sine squared x. Cos squared over sine squared is the same as cot squared x, because that's like 1 over tan squared x. Sine squared over sine squared cancels to 1, and 1 over sine squared x gives me cosec squared. And again, I look at that third letter, and I see s and sine, so I'm happy I've got it right. OK, so the questions you get for these uh, prove identity questions, and they're nice questions, really. They can be tricky, and um, sometimes you seem to go around in circles. But um, I think they're quite fun to do. Now, when you try to prove, prove an identity, what you do is you start with one side. And normally, you start with the most complicated side. And then you work to the other side, which is normally the simpler side. So here, I'm going to start with the left-hand side. And I say which side I'm starting with. Um, so I put all of this in here. Um, and then I look at this, and I've got tans and cots and secs and cosecs, and I can see that all of them have sines and coses. I can write all of that in terms of just sine and cots. So I'm going to put everything in. Uh, tan theta is sine theta over cos theta. Cot theta is cos theta over sine theta. Sec theta is 1 over cos theta. And cosec theta is 1 over sine theta. Then hopefully, with a bit of fraction work, you can see I can put these over the same denominator. Uh, so I can have sine theta, cos theta on the bottom by multiplying this by sine theta and this by cos theta. So I get sine, theta, sine, no, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta, sorry about that, over cos theta, sine theta. And here, again, I want it over cos theta, sine theta. So this becomes sine theta plus cos theta on the top. And then hopefully you can see I'll be able to cancel this and cancel that because it's on both the top and the bottom of my fraction. And then the other cle clever thing we can do is sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1. So leaving really just 1 on the top, and then this bit's gone, it's cancelled to 1. And so we only have the sine theta plus cos theta left on the bottom. So I've got 1 over sine theta plus cos theta, which I'm very happy about, because that is my right-hand side. So I've proved this. So I start at the left-hand side. I work through until hopefully I reach the right-hand side. We'll just do one more. Uh, so let's prove this identity. Cos squared theta over 1 minus sine theta equals 1 plus sine theta. Again, this time I'm going to start um, on my left-hand side. So say what I'm doing. Write it out. And what I've got in this is what I like is this cos squared theta. And again, using the very important trig identity, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1, I can substitute cos squared theta as 1 minus sine squared theta. 
we then use um, the difference of two squares. Now, the difference of two squares is um, really important, and you must make sure that you can do it. It comes up again and again. So if you remember, we have a squared minus b squared. So you can see that actually this is one, I put a little square there, one squared minus sine squared theta can be factorized into a minus b times a plus b. And so that's all we've done here. So our a is 1, our b is sine theta. So we've got 1 minus sine theta, 1 plus sine theta. And the reason we want to do that is so hopefully you can see now we can cancel here leaving us 1 plus sine theta, which is the right-hand side, and it's exactly what we wanted, so we're very happy with that. Okay, I hope that's helpful.